guys, uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to transform Windows 7 to Windows 2000 slash ME. Now, like I said in my original video, um, f doing it on XP and Vista is quite easy, but on 7 and 8 it's not, because it's changed a little. So in this video I'll show you how to transform, it, to transform Windows um, 7 to Windows 2000 slash ME. So, um, what I recommend you do, so I recommend you watch the um, first video on how, I recommend you watch the previous video on how to transform Windows 7 to Windows 95 and uh, Windows 98 first. I recommend you watch the previous video, before, I recommend you watch the video before this first. Because there's a few similar things um, that will be in this video. So, yeah. So, anyways, this is how to do it. First of all, you're going to want to right click on your desktop. And then you're going to want to click on personalize. Takes a bit long here. And there you are, and there you go. So hopefully all the themes and stuff should load. And there we are. And as you can see, I have a theme saved here already. So what you're going to want to do is go all the way down and click on Windows Classic. And there you are. And now you have the Windows 2000 theme. Now... If you're transforming Windows 7 to Windows 2000, you won't need to change the font. But if you're tra transforming Windows 7 to Windows ME, you'll you'll need to transform. You'll need to uh, change the font. <coughs> Sorry about that. And to do that, just go on to Window Color. Click on the little arrow here. Then click on active title bar and then click on MS Sans Serif like so I'm going to click on cancel here but you can do that if you want to transform Windows 7 to Windows ME <coughs> sorry about that anyways the next thing you're going to want to do is you want to click on change desktop icons and you're going to want to change all of your icons now this is why I said to watch the previous video first because then you'll know what you're doing I'm going to skip this bit and then I'll be back in a sec and there you go so now you've changed all of your icons you're going to want to click on apply and make sure you have all of these checked as well click on OK and now you have some of the classic icons so the next thing you're going to want to do is just minimise this and then right click on your desktop yet again click on view and then click on small icons and now you've got the classic tiny little icons next thing you're going to want to do well the last thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change your taskbar to give it the old look and feel it deserves so to do that right click on your desktop and click on properties then you're going to want to check use small icons then where it says taskbar buttons click on the little arrow in the, in the checkbox and then click on never combine and then click on ok and then click apply now 
have a classic Windows start, well, start, well, taskbar. <laughs> you can look at stuff and all that, etc. etc. Now, unfortunately, Microsoft removed the feature where uh, you can enable the classic start menu. But by searching classic start menu for Windows 7, you should get a program for that. So, yeah. And that is all. You have transformed your Windows 7 to make it look like Windows 2000 and ME. No stuff here. Etc. Now, if you want to, you can um, put in the um, Windows 2000 slash ME sound in it. Or you can go all out and transform all your system files to Windows 2000 or ME. But it's better doing this instead of transforming the whole operating system, mate. Eh? So anyways, that is it. Thank you very much for watching. See you later and bye-bye. This is how to bring the old look back in Windows 7. Thank you very much for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.